What's up guys and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today my double feature will be uh, Shazam, which apparently is two weeks early from its release date, but on Fandango it had a early access pass, so I figured I'd pair that up with Jordan Peele's Us. So it is going to be one hell of a long haul for me. Right now it is 6.40, I'm going to the 7 o'clock show of Shazam, and then the 10.30 show of Us, so I won't be out until like 1 o'clock. So it's going to be a long one, I'm tired as hell, had a full 8 hour day today at work, and interested to see uh, what Shazam's all about. I'm not a big fan of the DC Universe, um, I mean I've, some of them I've enjoyed, but this one looks like it's kind of a big change from the usual. It's more of a comedic flair. Haven't seen Aquaman, so I can't really tell, because I know that one switched the formula up a bit. Uh, but for um, us, I'm really looking forward to that one, because I didn't see Get Out in theaters. I watched it uh, when it was out on DVD or Blu-ray uh, Blu release, and dug the hell out of it. Um, so I'm hoping that Jordan Peele, from what I've heard, he follows it up with a pretty decent flick, so... We'll check that one out. But right now, I am heading into Shazam. So wish me luck, and I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, just got back from watching Shazam. Uh, pretty, oh, I guess in general, just a pretty fun, entertaining, uh, fast paced movie. A lot of cool elements to it. Um, uh, the cast was great, and uh, just the central theme of family and just comedic tones throughout it really made it um, a fun, enjoyable experience. Uh, I really went into it with no expectations at all. I didn't know anything about Shazam the character other than it's a kid who transforms into an adult with superpowers. Um, didn't see any of the trailers for it really so I just kind of went in uh, fresh with fresh eyes not knowing what to expect and i uh, pleasantly surprised it was a very entertaining film uh, fun like I said uh, had a good deal of heart to it with the uh, family aspects and the whole character arc for the main character uh, as the kid uh, becoming Shazam learning the powers and kind of uh, turning into a man I guess um, and using the uh, powers responsibly and stuff like that. It was a good story arc. Um, kind of, he kind of found himself. He was lost in the beginning, being put in foster homes, uh, trying to search for his family, and then kind of coming to terms with that and finding a new family. So it was a really cool sto story arc with a lot of heart to it, and uh, the effects were cool. It was definitely a light-hearted affair, um, not one of those overbearing superhero movies where it's just kind of like you know explosions and shit happening all over the place so it was a nice low-key film um good starter for this double feature um and yeah i just had a good time with it really cool stuff uh it's be interesting to see where dc goes with this i don't know if they're going to keep going with another shazam movie or if he's going to be a part of the other dc universe but we will see i guess time will tell uh, the DC universe is so jumbled and chaotic and they don't really know what the hell they're doing with it. So it's interesting to see, um, see if they get their footing sometime soon. But, um, yep, entertained by that one. Good time. Uh, if you're curious about it, I recommend go checking it out because it really is fun. A lot of hilarious stuff in it. Um, probably my favorite character, side character would be Santa Claus. Uh, you'll have to see it to believe it, but Santa Claus gets in, he's just keeps appearing every so often. He just cracked me up, and then the final um, appearance that he has in is just hilarious as all hell. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about the film. I don't want to give anything away. It's just kind of my first impression of the film. Um, but, yeah, check it out. If you thought you might, uh, it might tickle your fancy, that you like the uh, lighthearted approach of it, Definitely give the film a check, uh, give it a watch. Should be uh, something that's gonna entertain a lot of people. It'll probably get a lot of buzz like Aquaman did. So DC's doing pretty good. I still love the, uh, Marvel better, but um, this was a very entertaining film. But I'm gonna grab something to eat because I have a, about an hour before my showing of Us. 
So we're gonna switch up the flavor a bit, go from a lighthearted superhero film to a pretty messed up looking horror film by Jordan Peele. So looking forward to that. Once I saw the trailer to that movie, I was I was sold. So really excited to see it and just get something to eat and I will be in the theaters and well, I'll check out the movie for myself. So guys, stay tuned. And what's up guys? Uh, just got out of the second movie, uh, Us, Jordan Peele's Us. A really, really crazy, weird, wild film. Um, I'm trying to think of where to even start with this. It's, um, yeah, it's it's got creepy elements to it. Um, uh, sprinkles of comedy throughout with just the characters' interactions and what's going on with the in the story. And just the story in general is just batshit crazy. I mean... It's really just off the wall, um, unpredictable. Like you really don't know what the hell's happening through pretty much most of it. Even to the end, I, I still like have to wrap my head around and probably go online and just look at other people's theories. But very interesting flick. Um, it's one of those films where a lot of the imagery that you see in the beginning of the film comes into play later on. Uh, a lot of stuff is carried over, so it's very thematic. Um, it's just a very, very strange, <laughs> very strange movie. I really liked it though. Really, really dug the, um, creativity behind it and just the unorthodox approach to it. Um, all the characters were amazing. Uh, each, um, well, it's kind of like a family drama set in a horror setting. So it's just, um, yeah, really, really, really interesting. Uh, and like I said, each actor does a great in their parts um they balance the comedy and the horror very well um the movie was surprising to me i don't know if this gives too much away or just but it's just it's it almost turns into an apocalyptic kind of film like it's very very um big in scope i thought it was going to be very intimate um um centered film about um this family having doppelgangers i guess up here and it just the the scope of the film gets a lot larger than I was expecting so it's a really unexpected um twist to what I was thinking was going to be a simple story but um yeah really interesting uh great follow-up to Jordan Peele's Get Out so it's a nice little companion piece totally different films uh with different subject matter and themes but yeah in general he's doing a really good job second film out and He's really pushing the envelope in certain areas. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Really liked it a lot. Um, don't know what else to say, but but yeah. Um, yeah, first movie, Shazam. Fun, ridiculous, just comedy, superhero flick with a lot of lighthearted fare. Then Us, the second film, just... Um, it's hard to say it's just, it's a horror movie because I wasn't really frightened throughout the movie. I wasn't scared. I was more intrigued about what was going on and where this was all going. So it's kind of like a horror movie, but it's got elements of comedy, um, thriller. Uh, I don't, I want to, I don't want to say like science fiction because it's not really that, but it's kind of like a fantasy amalgam. I don't, I, I really don't know how to describe it, but it's really cool. Really, really neat. Um, yeah, great double feature. Um, so it's 12.52 right now, precisely. Uh, I want to get home and go to sleep. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this double feature and just my thoughts on the movies. Uh, maybe it goes, uh, gives you some interest to go out and see it for yourself. Both flicks. Um, I believe, um, Shazam comes out officially in the beginning of April. So I think like a week or two. Uh, and of course us is in theaters now so check that one out as soon as you can really great I know it's doing good at the box office I thought it said um, something about 25 million that it got in the first opening night I believe it is but yeah great flick uh, good job of Jordan Peele with that flick and yeah good night and I'm gonna say good night because 
I need to get home and go to sleep. But guys, hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you like what I'm doing. I'll see you next time. Um, probably going to be doing a collection video next, so stay tuned for that. Check you guys later. See ya. Thank you.